It's been a long and trying season, hasn't it? What was supposed to be a very loaded season that should have featured a lot of blockbusters and sequels has become barren, for a lack of a better term. In large part due to the pandemic, we've been left with a season that is a shell of its former self. Long runners and surprising hits that were on pace to do really well like Millionaire Detective have been cut short. Meanwhile, Railgun T apparently turned into a monthly anime as it trudges on and struggles to finish its first arc. However, in line with trying to think positive, I think that the season's not all that bad. Tower of Gods entertaining as hell, Ascendance of a Bookworm is on pace to wrap up, Kaguya-sama survived the sequel purge and is still at the top of its game, and Gleipnir has quickly become one of the most enjoyed shows of the season. Now, thick into the admittedly drained season, we've got only one way to look. Forward into the summer season, a season that at the time of writing offers a glimmer of hope and a lot of excitement. Unfortunately, I won't be surprised to see some of the following shows suffer delays. Yes, even the ones that were scheduled for this season could still not see the light of day next season should things go bad. Pray for Subaru, guys. Tokyo Games brings us our first entry to the list, the action sci-fi anime Akudama Drive. Featuring an alternative history where a great war divided Japan into two regions, Akudama Drive takes place in Kansai. Being made a vassal state, Kansai has since fallen in terms of law and politics, and the police are slowly losing the region to criminals called Akudama. We take a look at the Akudama and how they cope with this dystopian society. It's easy to see why the designs in the art style would look familiar. Featuring the people who bought us Dangan Romper, I think we can be free to have some high expectations for this one. It's an original anime that will likely be full of surprises, and seeing as how the team are already experienced in dealing with the moral greys that will likely be featured here, I'd say that this show could be a great addition to this strong season. Originally announced a year ago, Decadence finally got its release date in sight and it's set to come out this summer season. Along with Akudama Drive, Decadence is one of the three anime originals that have been getting a whole lot of hype this coming season. So far, it looks like an anime take on Mortal Engines. With its steampunk aesthetics, nifty character designs and absolutely gorgeous art, I'm not in the slightest surprise to see so many people excited for Decadence. From what we can see with the trailers, the art and animation for the series looks nothing short of fantastic. Fantastic. With the brilliant minds that brought us cult classic Yujo Senki, as well as Death Parade and Mob Psycho's director at the helm, I'm sure that this is a show that a lot of you guys could really enjoy. For now, all we can do is wait and see. Knowing those people taking charge though, I'm pretty positive that the show won't disappoint. Next in line is the second season of Fire Force. Through all the troubles and the unfortunate real-life circumstances that coincided with its first season, Fire Force managed to carve out a niche among Shonen fans. Thanks to its engaging narrative, memorable and memeable characters and cool powers, Fire Force left fans wanting more when it first stopped. Shinra and the squad are set to return after the amazing battles in the first part of Fire Force, and I wouldn't want to miss out on what's to come for the team. It may not have been as big as other hit Shonen contemporaries like Demon Slayer, or My Hero Academia, but Fire Force is a nice shonen anime with some really great animation and fights that you shouldn't miss out on. While we wait for the second part this July, why not take this chance to watch the first part and do some catching up? Mighty. At number 7 we have the return of time travel anime in the form of GB8. Perhaps in a twist especially relevant to current times, GB8 features a future Tokyo ravaged by a virus. The virus, named Jibia, has been spending some time turning people into monsters in a scene that could be reminiscent of some zombie movies. Facing them are time traveling samurai and ninja. Did you see something like that coming? I don't think so. The last thing on my mind is having a series that features time traveling samurai and ninja taking on a viral scourge to save the world. Maybe they'll soon come save us all from a similar health crisis after all. What do you think? Jokes aside, this anime is just oozing with stylish flair from what I've seen of it. The art looks really cool and as early as now, I'm predicting this to be the sleeper hit of the season in terms of production and animation. Come join the battle this July. Confidence man, sa. Condense milk? In 6th place is 
Great Pretender. Just when you thought you've seen it all comes this new anime about con games. Yep, you heard that right. The anime about con games which was first unveiled sometime last year is about to hit our screens this July. Great Pretender stars two con men travelling all over the world. They say that the only life worth living is one full of thrills and these two sure have them. Danger lurks in every corner though and these two are living a life full of risks and all the other twists and turns a con man would have. Overall the anime looks pretty promising with its production values and without even seeing it I think the show is going to feature some nifty play on morality along with a dash of comedic elements. Great Pretender is looking to be a good change of pace from what we're used to seeing in anime and I'm sure as hell excited to watch it on opening night. Now, this one hurt personally. Mere weeks before it was scheduled to air, the grand finale to SAO's Alicization arc was delayed to July thanks to you know what. Apparently there was a bottleneck in terms of voice acting and thanks to a number of other internal issues, we're all going to have to wait at least a couple of months to see our favourite SAO characters grace the screen once again. With the confrontation of epic proportions and the return of fan favourites from all the previous arcs of SAO looming, War of Underworld's second part is sure to be a treat to anyone who stuck by the series through the decade. With the series fate quite uncertain for now, I, among the numerous SAO fans worldwide, hope that the team pulls through this time and gives us the proper closure for what's been one of the more engaging arcs in the series history. Hope we get to see it all end this summer. Coming in at number 4 we have Higurashi 2020. What's with all these franchise revivals in the past years? If it's not an ancient manga being remade, you have old franchises being revived with sequels or supplementary material. I mean don't get me wrong, that's not a bad thing by any means and I think among the ones that have received the revival treatment, Higurashi is certainly one of the more deserving series. Higurashi, back in its heyday, was one of the premier horror thriller anime series. Coupling twists, mysteries and a lot of graphic violence, it made its mark in the visual novel and anime community. Now I'm not sure if a lot of people were holding out for an anime continuation back then, but if the reception to this planned 2020 continuation is anything to go by, Higurashi looks like it's primed to come back with a vengeance. Let's see how all this plays out this July. I'm sure that a lot of long-time fans are ready to get back on the ride. <laughs> Third on the list is God of High School. Korean titles sure wanted to join in on the fun in the whole anime thing, didn't they? Tower of God, as far as Western reception goes, is looking to be a consistent success story. Now, with that in mind, we have our next Korean contender in line in God of High School. Starring Jin Mori, a cocky and headstrong Korean martial artist, God of High School tells our protagonist's trip into the world of martial arts. Thanks to a rude awakening courtesy of a blonde man, his journey to become a legend in the tournament called The God of High High School begins. A battle shonen primed to make its mark on the anime community, The God of High School is a series that you ought to look out for. The last of the officially delayed series that we should be expecting in the coming season, ReZero still maintains a lot of momentum going forward. We've talked about it multiple times before, but the hype is still that strong to have this to be the most second anticipated summer 2020 show. Overall, season one recently got a director's cut that ended the series in one massive cliffhanger. For now, I'd suggest watching the director's cut of the first season as well as the two OVAs. One of the OVAs in particular makes great supplementary material as it's a movie length prologue that details parts of Amelia's backstory. Let's just hope that things clear out so we can finally see the continuation to one of the greatest isekai series in the modern era. Well, they sure made us wait for this one, didn't they? They couldn't have picked a worse time to end a run, with one of the biggest cliffhangers that's at the same time poetic in delivery and execution. They really just left us hanging in the midst of an epic story and in my opinion, one of the best arcs in the series as a whole. You bet that thousands of fans would be tuned in to see how the story continues with this next core of Haikyuu. A lot more challenges await our gritty Karasuno team. It's a long, treacherous climb up the mountain, but we'll finally see if our boys have what it takes to overcome everything and make their mark in history. Forget the death flags for Karasuno's hopes, they're putting it all on the line this time and there's no turning back. July can't come soon enough.
So the summer season looks good, doesn't it? Be a shame if something happened to it. Jokes aside, I really hope that we can get a good season this time round. As for you, I hope you stay safe, stay healthy and stay strong. It's only a matter of time, but anime will surely come back stronger than ever. As always, don't hesitate to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed watching this video. Be the first in line for the next video because I'll keep delivering even through these trying times. Vinitube goodness takes no breaks.